What is going on, Roland Empire? Here, guys, to give you a video. Today's topic is going to be about Spider Man No Way Home, the actual movie, a movie review, guys. Who would have thought, man, after so much that has been going on with this role, like the movies we've been getting for cinema, for streaming, we are getting in 2021 Spider Man No Way Home. Marvel, Sony has finally released in 2021 this movie, and my goodness, man, did it live up the hype. As you know, now in the day and age, spoilers are how they are. You know, you want to keep things under wraps. You think in speculation what might be going on. But with leaks, with images and things, are all these things accurate? You know, what is this going to live up? What we know so far, just with what the trailers have sold us, Spider-Man has his identity revealed by Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio. And, you know, J.K. Simmons is trying to be like, he's a menace, he's a menace. There's things are adding up, and he goes to Doctor Strange to kind of protect his identity and just realizing the also the safety from his Aunt May, his friends, played by Zendaya and Jacob Batalon, you know, MJ and Ned. And Peter Parker puts himself in a situation where you get these villains, and they're the villains that have been in all the live-action Spider-Man movies. You get glimpses from Doc Ock, Goblin, you get Electro, and it's all to um, Doctor Strange and Tom Holland's Spider-Man to kind of, you know, keep things back in check and all that. And does, does this live up? And the accumulation that goes on with this... You know, most likely this is going to be a two-part review. Like, we're going to do a two-parter. Spoilers needs to be talked about in a spoiler category. This is non-spoiler. No matter how early I release it, I will be releasing this video. And I'm going to keep this safe. And I'm going to try to sell what I can with what the trailer was marketed. And But with all this being how it is, and does it have a good time and all, and does this movie live up? Man, guys, like, this is Spider-Man all around. What a way to just... Uh, add up from so much what is spider-man now this plays the beats plays the heart tom holland again now is establishing himself as a worthy spider-man competitor of what all this is you know toby has lived up his legacy andrew garfield has his own um, era to his face and tom holland is willing to prove now and what a lot is this gives this movie credit that i like it put him through tackles of what a Peter Parker should go through and I admire that I appreciate it that that's where the Marvel went with this route to give Tom Holland his his you as in like you're Spider-Man okay you were you were presented the title now go through the obstacles and boy does he do it in this movie and uh, this movie really just man this was a great time as a cinema piece it shows that cinema should be around and still just overall what is the plot and all this it's really good and all um plot wise and all tweaking and all could be better. I can see things of like, okay, how does the logic make sense? How does the reality go? But throughout all this, it is fascinating to know why these villains come through, you know, his universe and how um, Peter, the Tom Holland, Peter Parker and Doctor Strange and all this team up and realize how they can get them in. There's still questions of what goes on, why, you know, Benedict Cumberbatch kind of played the role the way he did, but still like also Tom Holland, what he could have done. There are certain questions that, you know, you might kind of like later on, on, but as still as a Spider-Man movie goes, it has well-established action set pieces that are very spider-man familiar and it just throughout the plot too you realize how much is this it's really like dialogue driven also like there's action but i like the way the action was presented in all this and the way it kind of just pays off it took its time and it realized then when it hit how much it made more sense it truly is sort of the end game for the spider-man especially how they have to kind of tie up a lot for Tom Holland and the stakes and all. And you, and you can kind of see without spoiling, I won't spoil it, what they kind of meant with maybe giving him another trilogy. But I am fascinated of how much a lot of these three movies of the trilogy have added up and realizing, okay, Tom Holland from a certain POV, this is really, this trilogy serves of how it is. Throughout this, just so much. Like, like how... Everything is presented. Good job on the score. I kind of wish I would have saw more of a more 
more of a different spin of a score as opposed to what it was represented, but still how they mesh scores. The score of Michael J. Chun here was really well with the uh, direction of um, John Watts. Good job, John Watts, from setting up more now also more in more tension between characters and more of a the climax was presented you added really now a stamp of how spider-man is just the overall visualization just overall what you know what aunt may and peter parker go through and just having how you still have glimpses of avengers stuff being mentioned but this was also more contained of a Peter Parker movie. More than the other two probably. This one really just kept it more. And that was fun. I want my Avengers references. We have this. This is the first time we were ever going to get Spider-Man in the MCU universe. We were going to have him team up and all. But now it was also refreshing. It was nice to see Peter Parker get his own kind of film now. This gave me glimpses of a lot of what I like of Spider-Man definitely. You know, it just, it added to more in this final installment of this trilogy that it is, of what they're trying to do, the home trilogy. And man, it was a really good time. It really was fun. You got more now of um, who Peter surrounds himself with, adding them more layers, finally. We got more layers of his friends. There are certain things I kind of question. I wish, you know, more things could have still been developed. You know, I might save that for the spoilers. I'll let you guys know if spoilers or whatnot. But overall, as like, still more was um was more of a positive to see just Peter deal with what he can now. Like he has school on the side still; it's still part of his mission. But now that we're realizing he's going more now, growing up, growing up comes with more responsibilities of of adult themes, and it was nice that he was presented with some of them in this film. Man, Marvel, it, it is nice to, I know that the Marvel, how they are with bringing in characters, but I'm glad they focus on their Spider-Man. They have to realize Spider-Man was an important key figure, and I like that they kept a lot of these characters true with what we've seen, so what we know, and kind of continue them to a certain direction. A certain direction so, you know, we can expect more things. This was a nice balance of adding so much and containing it and giving it its structures and all that, uh, kind of playing the whole three-act structure, realizing that this serves this, the middle part serves a certain kind of part, and then the third part is kind of wrapping more things. Uh, it was more coherent. It was more going by rather than it not being. And overall, man, guys, fun Spider-Man movie really delivers more of what has been adding up and just giving this time to just have tom holland just really embrace the role and this was a overall very thematic very thematic spider-man movie and i i would have given this around definitely a plus or an a seriously an a plus or an a and all but let me know guys why you guys didn't like this spider-man's particular film or the trilogy let me know how no way home lived up or not i or let me know how it ranks up and how it's one of your favorites of all time I had a great time that these characters were fun and that the story really made sense. I'm glad I appreciated the route they went and just overall really it was a really good time. It was a good Spider-Man movie. So all this in the comments below and as always Roland Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.